Now what we need to do is that we need to work on the account page. So I'm going to create a new file called account. I'm going to here say, I'm going to create a new file called account. Account.html. And uh, in this account, we need to get a code that we already have from the login. So I'm going to get the complete code from the login because the code is going to be, the, the structure is going to be the same except for the content. So let me first save and let's go to the account page. So now I'm going to say here, account html and it's going to display the login page so we need now to work on the account page so first i'm going to remove here the content from the account page so here uh from the account page we have uh we have this uh, area that says here that says uh a section we need to actually remove pretty much everything let's remove everything and start over so i'm going to remove everything i'm just going to keep the section because we need the section and here instead of login i'm going to say account so we have the section and the section will have the margin top and bottom five and padding top and bottom five now inside the section we need a div as usual and i'm going to give this div a class and that class is going to be the container and a raw i'm going to say raw and i'm going to say container and i'm going to also say container and I'm gonna also say margin auto margin uh, X auto margin right and left auto the reason why I said the raw is because I'm gonna divide the page into two columns the left column is gonna display information about uh, is gonna display the account information of the user on the right side I'm gonna display a form that would allow the user to edit their email to change their email Therefore, I, get, I said here raw. So inside that raw, we need two columns. So I'm going to create the first column. I'm going to say here dev, and then I'm going to give this this dev a class. I'm going to say class, and then I'm going to say uh, first I'm going to center the text. I'm going to say text center, and I'm going to give this uh, uh, this uh, dev margin top free. And also margin, uh, and also, also padding top five. And we need to specify the number of columns. So, so I'm going to divide the page into two equal uh, columns. So I'm going to say column large six and column MD twelve and column for small screens column SM twelve. So the the um, in case the screen is large the page is going to be divided into two columns in case the page in case the page is medium or small there will only be one column and then i'm going to display the here inside that inside that div i'm going to say account here uh first i'm going to display, display hr and then i'm going to display the let me say here class um mx auto and then I'm going to display the H2 uh, to, to, to display the account information. So above this H2, uh, above this HR, I'm going to say uh, uh, H, H2 or H3, let's say H3. And I'm going to give this a class. And the class is going to be font weight bold. And uh, I'm going to say here account info. Let me save and let me show you uh, this in the browser. Now we have here on the left side we have account info. So let's display here uh, below this HR. Let's display information. So below this HR, I'm going to create another dev. I'm going to say here dev, and I'm going to I'm going to here uh, give this dev a class called account info. And inside that div, I'm gonna display the name and the email and buttons. First, I'm gonna display a name. I'm gonna say here P, name. And I'm gonna create a span here. Span that displays the name. And below it, I'm gonna display the email. I'm gonna say here P, and then email, and then email here 